morning everyone and welcome back to Craft Eccentricity. I hope you all had a wonderful weekend and yes I have a new background. I've wanted one of these for a couple of years but I didn't want to pay 60 bucks. <laughs> so anyway, ordered one online last week. It took just seven days to arrive and this one was $28 from a store called Craft USA. So I'm really pleased with this and this is now my lovely new background where when I do my tutorials I can just make an awful mess. Right, if you saw the haul video on Friday, you will have seen it was a surprise creation haul and so I'm here today with the samples from that and I managed to use everything that I'd received. So starting with the smallest, here is the little snow globe. I did it really, really simply. See if we can get up close there. Just using stickers and some of my German glass glitter for the snow. And I actually on purpose um, put the glitter in when the glue was wet around the outside so that it would sort of like stick all around. So that is the first one and that is the little mini snow globe. All of the measurements are on that haul video so I will link that below. Next up I used my ornament dies and also the skinny die because they were made to go on these long slim skinny dies however you like to call them and it's just sort of like it just perfectly complements them it just goes all the way along and it's just absolutely gorgeous. I just love this set from Surprise Creation because it's a double set that you get. You get the straight edge one and you also get the lovely decal edge one. I've used gold foil cardstock there and some of my lovely leaf ribbon. So that is that one. Next up is the candy stripe and the huge, almost five inches, number 25. I just think that's a really, really quick, easy card to make. And you can always be rest assured with Surprise Creation, her dies cut out first time. They're really, really well made. Now this 25, as I said before, will look fabulous as a Christmas ornament, but you can imagine it sort of like glued in the middle of a ribbon swag going through the middle of your wreath or as Christmas Day decorations on the table. It's just really, really lovely. And of course, if you know someone who's going to be 52, 25, 2 or 5, then you've got huge numbers for that occasion as well. So that's that one. Next up is my little snowman that I told you. I wasn't at all confident about creating a character die, but I did, and I'm really happy with him. And there he is. And on his cheeks, I didn't shade. I used my Touch 5 markers, and the colours that I used there are Cool Grey 1 and pale cherry pink so if you've got those I went cool grey under the eyes and cherry pink at the edges of the mouth and I've also used the snowflakes there. This paper pack came from the beloved Tuesday morning that I no longer have and uh, that's the oh I'm trying to think of it is it the cozy Christmas? I think it might be I think it might be called Cozy Christmas. So there he is. And I used my white gel pen to just put a dot on the eyes. You could also highlight the little buttons. And of course you could highlight the hat and the nose. Now you could use real buttons there as well. But I just think he's really cute. So that's that one. And next is the poinsettia dies. And I told you I was going to get really greedy with the poinsettia and I was going to use both sets. And they come with fabulous little bits of foliage and berries and things that you can dot around. And I also use the blank that comes in this ornament set and I embossed it. So here's that one. I just fully loaded that up. I just think it's so pretty. 
I do love non-traditional colours for Christmas. I mean, if you wanted to jazz this up more, you know, a little bit of sort of like crystal glitter on the tips of those flowers would look really, really pretty. But that's the plain set and that's the pattern set and you get different types of foliage with each set. Like in the plain set, you get the holly and the berries and in the pattern set, you get the little pine bough sprigs. But it's just really, really pretty really dimensional popped it all up on pads there so that is that one now tomorrow is uh, tutorial tuesday i don't think we're going to have a disaster this week because whatever it is i'm going to try and make sure that i make something that i can um complete on camera so it's also going to be an eiffel store design team hall combination so i'm going to use dies from that hall and we'll just make something straight away with it right you have a fabulous day as usual all links below and once again i really do appreciate you all for coming to my channel each day just to hear me say good morning everyone so have a fabulous day bye